Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss these three terms that is monoecious, dioecious and hermaphrodite. And we will discuss these three terms in context of plants. So we will start from dioecious. This word is taken from Greek. Di means two. Oseous, that word is taken from oikos. Oikos means house. So, means two different house. So, when male flower is present on one plant and female on another plant. Means male flower and female flower are present on separate plants. Different plants, two houses, different houses means the place for male flower and female flower is different. They are present on different plant. Suppose this here I am taking a plant and this is one plant and this is flower. So here suppose on this plant only male flower is present and female flower is present on different plant. So this is female part, this is male part. So this is male flower and this is female flower and both you can see that are present on different plants means two different houses, two different places. This is called dioecious. Now coming to this term, <laughs> monoecious. <clears throat> Mono means single. Similarly, oikos means house. Means same house, same place. So we will write when male and female plant is present on same plant then this condition will be called monoecious suppose this is our plant and this is flower and this is female flower and on that same plant another flower is present that is male flower. So here you can see that both male and female are present on same plant. So this condition will be called monoecious. Now coming to our last term that is hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite means when flower of a plant, it's not plant, flower of a plant has both reproductive structures. That is male and female. When a single flower of a plant, so suppose this is plant, and it has this flower and this single flower has both reproductive structures like this. So here you can see that this flower has male part and also has female part. So this type of plant which has a flower having both male and female reproductive structures are called hermaphrodite plants. So these are three terms. Diocese means here plants are different. One plant will form male flower, another will form female flower. Example of this diocese is we know that papaya. And the next term monoecious when plant has two type of flowers. 
one flower is has male reproductive structure another has female reproductive structure banana is example of monoecious banana has both male and female flowers now coming to hermaphrodite when the same plant same flower of a plant or you can see when a flower of a plant has both structure reproductive structure male reproductive structure and female reproductive structure then this type of plant is called hermaphrodite for example rose flower of rose has both male and female reproductive structure so these are three terms monoecious dioecious and hermaphrodite